First, we launch Compose. Uh, let's grab an Im image, drop it onto one of the inputs. Select the area of interest. Adjust the size and location on the output image. And let's do some editing of this uh, first. Um, adjust the shadows. Add highlights. Adjust the color. Sharpen the edges. And on the background, we'll uh, choose a color that's sort of similar to that. But we'll shade it so it's darker. And now let's take the input image and copy it to one of the other inputs. And then take that selected region and um, move it to the side. Set a different angle. On this one we're going to uh, reduce the focus so it looks farther away. But we'll add uh, some uh, shadow and highlight. So they look different now. And we're going to look and see how fading and blending works instead of hard edge masks and overlays. So we'll take this image and we can move it back and front and you'll find there's a place where uh, you have the best uh, blending of the two images. Fading adjusts the edges so we go to very soft edges to very hard edges and again you can find a location that gives you the best uh, blending of the two images and you can adjust the uh, other one front to back and set its fading also. And finally, you can uh, select an image and adjust its position. So using position, fading, and blending, you can uh, compose two images so they look, uh, they look realistic. Since this is going to be shown on a web page, I'm going to drop the logo into one of the other inputs. Select all of it. Now we're going to want it to be in front of everything else we don't want any fading and we don't want any uh, of the previously set color editing so we'll reset color edits uh, just the output size <coughs> and set it where we want it we now save this image to the file system and we're done